So here we have a diagram of a parallelogram A, B, C, D. Remember in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal and parallel. So A, B and D, C equal lengths and they're parallel. The same goes for A, D and B, C equal lengths and parallel. So parallelogram, we've got side A, B representing a vector U and side BC representing a vector V. And we're asked to express BD, B to D, in terms of U and V. So let's write down what represents vector U. We know a journey from A to B represents U. But the journey from D to C goes in exactly the same direction and it goes the same distance. So equally well, that directed line segment or that side of the parallelogram could represent the vector U. Similarly, the vector V represented by the journey from B to C, that distance and direction, Equally well, we could use the journey from A to D to represent whatever the vector V is all about. It's that distance, that direction. So there are various representative, representatives of the vector U and the vector V. So we're interested in B to D. Now there's a couple of ways we could go from B to D scenic routes if you like, not the direct route. Let's go first of all from B to C followed by C to D. So the journey I'm taking, instead of going directly from B to D, I'll go B to C followed by C to D. And that represents in terms of the vectors V, the journey represented by the vector represented by the journey from B to C is V. And then travelling from C to D, ouch, I went against the arrow, that hurt. That's the negative of vector U. It's the opposite direction. So if you're going against the arrow, if you get hurt, then it's the negative of whatever vector is represented by that journey. So that's followed by negative u. I feel like it's plus negative u. Normal way of writing these is just v minus u. Another way of doing this would be to say, well, OK, instead of going direct from b to d, let's go from b to a, followed by from a up to d. So that's a different route. And what vectors are represented by that? Well, B, ouch, to A, that's a minus A, gone against the arrow. So it's a negative U. And then A to D with the arrow, that just represents vector V. So we've got a negative U plus V. And that can be written as V plus negative u, or v minus u, it's the same thing. If you're confused about rewriting these, let's take, for instance, 1 plus negative 2, you'd know that would be the same as 1 minus 2. That's this first situation here. And down here, if you had negative 2 plus 1, for instance, negative 2 plus 1, you could write that as 1 minus 2. It's the same, same thing, whether you add the negative 2 and the 1 in that order or add the 1 and the negative 2 in the different order, same result.